Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I just thought I'd sit in front of the camera and thank everyone who subscribed to my channel. I've reached a thousand subscribers, so thank you very much. Now let's carry on and do a bit more of my traction engine. So thank you. Right, in the last video, I worked on the cylinder head and finished the safety valve base. I've looked at the drawings. There's a casting. I've just ordered a casting for the governor and the eccentric straps for the valve slide. But I think what we do, we carry on and we do the little bits for the safety valve. So first of all, if we look here, we got two parts the same. There's a larger part there. We'll get on and do that. So I'll make two of those. What I'll tend to do is I'll turn this down from the 3 8 diameter to the quarter inch diameter. I'll do all this bit, but I'll leave it on the rod because the quarter inch diameter which goes into those holes there need three flats on you can just see that part there look so we do those first right so I've got a bit of brass there mounted on there I'm going to turn that right down to about 300 foul in length quarter of an inch diameter have a measure of that probably a little bit more 24 five Another measure. Well, I've got ten foul to go. Measure four, three and a half, four, three and a half, yeah, three and a half, five to go.
beautiful. Right, so that fits in there nicely because that's got to be moving up and down once the pressure builds up. If it builds up and then the safety valve blows, that'll blow that up. Right, the next thing, I'm just going to put a little undercut in there as the drawing says. So I use this little parton tool. Right, so it's just a little undercut. That's all it is. Right. Next thing. I'm just going to put a chamfer then on that corner there. Using this cutter. That little chamfer will help seal on there. What we'll do later on if we need to is I'll use a little bit of fine, i use toothpaste. Put a bit on there and then we can grind that in to make it seat nicely. Right, so the next thing, I'm not going to do it now. That'll be parted off with a 16th flat there, that's all on those. But I'll machine the second one because there is two to fit in there. I'll just machine the second one and then we'll get back to you. Right, I've machined both of those parts, one on that end, one on that end. This now will be put in the dividing head on the milling machine because each part has to have a little flat, three flats on there but before I do that I'm going to machine the next part right so the next part I'm going to do is this bit the fork I'm going to get a bit of quarter inch it's got uh, steel so I'll get some quarter inch steel and I'm going to turn the end down I'm going to over turn it and over thread it to 2BA first and then what I'll do is I'll mount that in the divider then as well, drill that and then turn it 90 degrees and machine that slot off there. Right, so let's get that bit of quarter inch steel. Right, I've got to turn this down to 185 foul for a 2BA thread. So let's just get that going. I'm going to do it about three quarters to an inch long and then I can always trim that back then. I got to have fifteen five off of there.
Launcher. Ooh. Seven foul I need to get off. No. Eight foul. Beautiful. Right, let's just get the old die on there and die that down. Right. That is two BA. Lovely. Right. I've left that long. After we fitted it with a spring and that, we can always trim this down. Next thing, there's got to be that slot in it. that slot there so I'm going to <coughs> make that in the milling machine still on the full rod so the thread will be stuck out there then I sh uh, shall mill that slot in it longer and then or drill that hole first and then slot it and then I can part that off then back in the lathe so I can get that in the milling machine now. So I will also mill the flats on these brass bits. Right, I got this set up. I'm going to put a flat on there. I'm going to turn it 120 degrees. Put another flat on and then another 120 so there will be three flats. Good enough. I'll turn this one twenty degrees now. Two, two, four, four, six, seven, eight. That is twenty four holes on there. Ah. 
Now I'll turn that another 120 degrees. Right, that's one done. I'll turn it around, do the other end, and I'll get back to you. Right, that's the last one. Now I can take it out of here, put it back in the lathe, and part it off. Well, I've already drilled the hole there and I forgot to start the camera filming. What I'll do now is I'll turn that 90 degrees and then start the slot. Six. One there. Three. Right. So the slot's got to go past that hole and an eighth of an inch down from there. So I'll just move that back this way and start from there. Machine the slot right the way through. Nearly there. Really, 
the crew there. Here we are. Right, that's that fork done. I'll just put that in the little band saw and cut that off and then deburr it. Right, there's the part finished. That bit goes in there. I just put an eight drill through there. So that would be on the slender head that way. I'll mag part off the two brass bits on the lathe which go in those holes there. Right, I'm just going to part this first one off. other one. Right so there's those two parts parted off and placed in the actual safety valve. The next thing we got to do, have a look at the drawing, got to make this lever and that lever goes through that slot there which is here so that'll be the next job we're going to do now right we're going to mark this lever out for the safety valve so I put a little bit of dicom on some eighth metal when that's gone off we start marking it out right the dicom's gone off I've marked three marks on there, which I think is more important. It's that point, the centre of the spring, and the centre of that hole there, which that'll have to be made, that pivot. So now I'll just carry on and mark the distance from that point to the underside, and then the width. The first part it is from that point to the underside of the lever is quarter of an inch. So I'll mark that through there. Then I've got to go three sixteenths, that's the thickness. That's the thickness of the lever. What I'll use now, I'll just use a few little washers to get a nice little radius on that area to make that point. A little washer to make the radius on the top corner and then a larger radius to kink that up a bit. Where that where that curves up. Right, so I've just used some little washers to get little curves in those corners. That little one there, that'll be, the spring will be locating on there and hold the spring central. And I've used a larger piece of bar just to get this curve. 
Right, so first of all, I'll drill that little hole there. That little hole will be taking this piece here, look. So I'll drill that, and then I may use my Dremel just to cut that out and a little bit on the milling machine if I can. Right. Just going to cut most of it off with the little Dremel. I'll just change the blade. Right, so that's most of that cut away. I'll just mount that in the milling machine now and carefully trim that up with a milling cutter. Right, I've already machined this end up to where the spring would be located and this side of the point. Now I'm just going to try and nibble away the back end or the underside of the lever it will be and then we'll come on this side we'll just carefully get in there work my way in Right, that's the underside of the lever done. Now I'll just do this side. Just nibble away at that. Right. I'll just readjust that in the vise just to do these little curve bits, nibble off what I can and then I'll file it up. Right, so this is the top side of the lever. I can file that up later on and make that good. Just carry on with that back end. Nibbling it away, that's all I'm doing. Right, that's not bad, that's got to be cut off there, so that's what I'll do, cut it off and give it a good file up. Right, so that's one little lever, didn't turn out too bad, let's put it in the actual fork on the safety valve so there we are it looks like that'll be all right there'll be a spring on the top there with an adjuster on it next thing we got to do is make that little that little bit there which goes on that hole there so let's get on and do that. Right, a couple of people have said to me I ought to tram my milling machine, which I have done yesterday. I didn't film it. That's what I used. I have moved. I'm in the process of putting some extra workbenches in here, so I have moved it a couple of times. 
and when I put that on there it was way out so now it's dead on so let's get on so what we're going to do now is this little piece here which goes there right so I've marked that out I don't know if you can see that that'll be the hole which the arm will go through in a slot through there and then these two little raid two little curves here will be machined out to form a little point point right so the first thing I'll do is I'll just drill that little hole there It. So I've set that up centrally. Now I'm going to make a quarter inch slot through the top there. That'll be where that little arm will fit in. That's the last cut there. Right. So next thing I'm going to do, I'll lay it in that way and I'll slowly nibble away to get that point on there. Right, so I've machined the thing down to size and I'm just going to nibble off the corners to get that little point. Right, 
that's one side done. That's the two curves done to a point. Now what I'll do is I'll cut that off there, file it up and try it on the little arm. Right, there's the little piece I've just made on there. That's a nice loose fit in the actual fork. And then we'll have a spring on the top and adjuster on the top of that. And also when you've got to want to release some steam you can use the lever look. So the next thing we're going to make will be this little spacer which goes on the stud. This washer here which will lock down once you get the uh, pressure release correct. That nut will tighten that down onto the top of one of these. You adjust it till you get the right, because uh, it sets six pounds less than the working pressure. So that's what we'll make. This little thing here and this little thing here. On. That's the pin that'll fit through that hole. There we are. Just part that off. <laughs> Lovely, that goes inside the spring. Right, so that little bit on the end, that locates inside the spring. And I'll just drill that to fit over the stud.
so just part that off there we are right so we got all the bits for the safety valve put it together where that bit goes in there that bit goes in there this piece goes on there I put that fork in there right the arm goes in there spring goes on there this bit goes on there and we got a washer and a nut there it is there on the cylinder head right, I've had a little delivery so there's the governor casting, which would be going on that part. I'm not sure which way round yet. And there's the casting for the whistle. It'll be that way up. And also, I got five of these eccentric straps so we got plenty to do I think what I'll do is I'll start this in the next video the governor I'm not sure how that fits on there that might go on there I'm not sure yet without having to look at things so that'll be on the next video so please subscribe to my channel and join me as I build a 2-inch scale Fowler Showman's traction engine.